Shri Chaitanya Manobi Stam Stapti Tam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadam Mayam Dadanti Swam Padanti Kam Kuma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Srimakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gorbani Pacharine Nirvishesha Sunya Madhi Pasyatya Devi Sutarine Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Srivasari Gaur Bhakta Vrindu Ancha Kalpa Taru Vizcha Kripa Sindhu Pehvacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnava Bhyo Namaho Namaha Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So to continue with the theme, which has been uh, emphasized for the these days from the third to the ninth, that all preachers and others emphasize and talk about the importance of reading Srila Prabhupada's books. So uh, today we'll make it something parallel to reading Prabhupada's books, and that's the effect that reading Prabhupada's books has had on people who are not devotees, um, in the sense that they have received books from devotees who are book distributors. Uh, there are actually books written about, and so many random stories that are flying through the air of some of the most amazing transformations due to receiving Srila Prabhupada's books. How a person who was you know, living in the material world, living in material life, uh, somehow got a book and what that book did to their whole life, just one book. Um, I could testify from my personal experiences how Prabhupada's books have changed people in jails. Um, in fact, this is our number one way of reaching people, is through sending in Srila Prabhupada's books in different ways. Um, and uh, we, have, we have actually one program now where if any of the chaplains in the jails or the librarians or anyone who is in an administrative position in a jail wants Srila Prabhupada's books, we can send them a, a complete set of Srimad Bhagavatams free of charge. Mm -hmm. Completely free of charge. So um, we have set up that facility and we've, so far we've sent hundreds of sets into prisons. So. Srimad Bhagavatam is circulating mostly through the prisons in the United States because all the books are being printed there and sent from the United States. It would be nice if we can also reach the prison prisons in the other countries, which we are also preaching in. And we're also doing that in uh, London. When I was in London just before the, the lockdown, the COVID lockdown. I was doing regular prison preaching in London and we were going into the jails and the devotees who were organizing the pro programs were really expert at getting books sponsored. And uh, we, we saw as we went into the jails and did our programs, the, the persons who were facilitating the programs in the jail were showing us the uh, a vast library that they had received from our devotees of Srila Prabhupada's books and also explaining how regularly inmates come and just out of curiosity start reading Srila Prabhupada's books. There are uh, amazing stories. Uh, when you hear these stories, you'll be, be astounded how these books are so powerful. I'm going to read a little bit from Srila Prabhupada's own words about his 
about the power of his books and how they should be. He says here in one quote, this book selling is the real preaching of our culture, especially when you sell Chaitanya Charitamrita and Srimad Bhagavatam. They will understand what we mean by reading these books. So organize this freely. That's one quote. I'll read another. The only hope is that you distribute books as much as possible all over Europe, America. It will come someday that people will realize what valuable books we have left for the study and that the whole world will come forward. <laughs> Another quote, there is no doubt to distribute books is our most important activity. The temple is not a place for eating and sleeping, but a base from which we send out our soldiers to fight with Maya. Fight with Maya means to drop dozen drop thousands and millions of books into the laps of the conditioned souls. Just like during wartime, the bombs are raining from the sky like anything. <laughs> and then I'll, one more. The more we distribute books and literature, the more we become understood by the people about our mission. And the more they understand our mission, they will become advanced on the path of liberation from all problems of life. Many, many, my thanks to all of you. This was a letter to one book distributor. So here we can see how Prabhupada has uh, shown. And although these statements are really quite grand in both futuristic res uh, uh, results, we can see that uh, actually a lot of this is happening today. Uh, the devotees are distributing books, but when we distribute books, as Srila Prabhupada also said, we must read the books <laughs> because sometimes people will ask, what is, what is it, what's this book about? And they may also ask specific questions related to the philosophy. So therefore we must be equipped with the knowledge to be able to answer whatever questions come our way. And you never know. And still, when we, when we read the books, we can also develop a greater appreciation for distributing the books because then we understand how valuable these books are in transforming people's lives towards Krishna. There's one little story that I uh, that I have here that I would like to read to you. I just thought maybe you'd find this story kind of really interesting. It's not so long. It's about two, three small paragraphs. So here, some Burmese, Burm, those from Burma. Burmese, that Burma now is called Myanmar. Some Burmese doctors were attending a medical convention in New York City and got a book from a devotee on the street. The book distributor showed them the Das Avatar printing in the Guinea, pointing out Lord Buddha, and the doctors bought the book. When they got back to their hotel and looked through the Gita, they thought, wait a minute, this is not about Buddhism. But as they bought the book, they decided to take the back to Burma and give it to a Hindu doctor friend. Mm -hmm. The Hindu doctor friend turned out to be a staunch follower of Sankaracharya. And he thought, ah, this is a book about bhakti. I have no interest in this. And he put it in one corner of his office in a pile with so many other of his medical journals. One day, the Hindu doctor's son was visiting his father's office. The young college student wanted to learn English. He saw the big, thick English language book sitting in the corner and thought, hey, I will take this book. Look up and look up all the words in the dictionary and teach myself English. The son had no interest in the philosophy or studying the Gita. He simply saw it as a means to learn English. Moving slowly, 
looking up every second or third word. By the time the young man finished the sixth chapter, he had learned English and became a devotee. <laughs> he is now initiated as Sri Ras Pandit Prabhu, the regional secretary for Burma, and has made waves of devotees and opened multiple temples and preaching centers all over Burma. He will tell you that it all came from one Gita distributed thousands of miles away in New York City. And then this is spoken by Bhadra Narayan Swami Maharaj. And I should mention as he closes, his father is now an initiated devotee as well. Such is the potency of book distribution. So there, there's pretty amazing story how a person just wanted to learn English and carefully read the Bhagavad Gita and transformed his whole life and became a devotee. Now this is one of many, many, many amazing stories on the power, the spiritual potency of Srila Prabhupada's word. Uh, I think we all know, but we still need to be reminded that Srila Prabhupada's word is coming through. Very quick. <laughs> My fucking about. Absolutely not. Queen Antonio again. Yeah. Sheila Prabhupada's word. Yeah, somebody's got their microphone open. Yeah, I've just muted uh, me, Marad. Okay. Okay. Sheila Prabhupada's words coming through his books are so spiritually potent that and anyone who reads it, even if you can't understand it, of course, as devotees, we should understand it, but the potency of those words themselves are uh, enough to transform a person's heart towards Krishna. Srila uh, Prabhupada's is so spiritually advanced that we can't imagine the quality of his uh, spiritual position. He is a uh, he is an eternal associate of Krishna in Goloka Vrindavan in the spiritual world. And as a person who has come to do the work of Lord Chaitanya in this age by bringing a revolution in Krishna consciousness. So Prabhupada's words are like uh, spiritual uh, uh, bombs, or you might say spiritual bullets <laughs> penetrating the minds of the conditioned souls. And anyone who reads his books, they have such spiritual potency. And when we start to understand and apply and we get amazing realizations of Krishna in our, in our practice of Krishna consciousness. So uh, the importance of uh, reading Prabhupada's books helps us to want to inspire, get, become inspired where we can actually start to distribute these books. <laughs> and distributing books is easy. Of course, we might say it's a little bit less easy now because of the restricted traveling around the world. But when that is no longer there, when things start to, again, open up more, anywhere you go, if you carry a book with you, you can meet people, uh, or you can actually go out on book distribution as a regular you know, scheduled event. And uh, you'll see, it's amazing how when people take these books and they become, a, they, they start to show appreciation for you for receiving this book, how, how exhilarated you feel because you know you're pleasing Srila Prabhupada directly right in the heart of his Krishna consciousness movement because he said, those who distributed my books are very, very 
dear to me. So he wanted devotees not only to read the books, but somehow or other find ways to give books to others like that. Um, I'll, uh, I'll end with one other story. I mean, I have, I can tell stories for the next years, maybe 20 years ago, maybe even more, where in one uh, man, young man, he was overwhelmed with depression and he saw no meaning to life anymore. So he decided to end his life, but he was going to do it in a very unusual way, you might say. He drove his his, his van into a parking lot and he, he had rigged the, the uh, Hare Krishna Maharaj, we are having problems with your audio, Maharaj. Go back to the engine and Hare Krishna Maharaj, may I please humbly request you to switch to audio mode only? Hare Krishna, only seems like we've lost Maharaj for time being. He, he should come back soon, so okay. don't, you can pause the recording here and then yeah. for Maharaj to come back online was uh, sitting in his van uh, where he had a uh, plan to commit suicide and a uh, book distributor comes along, knocks on his window. The man wasn't interested, so he waved the devotee away. The devotee didn't give up. He took the book and left it on the man's windshield and left. The man got curious after the devotee left and rolled down his window and grabbed the book and he he picked it up and started to immediately read. Something piqued his interest where it said, the formula for happiness. <laughs> so we can understand that when someone is committing suicide, they're not so happy. <laughs> So when he read that, he was curious. And then he stopped his attempt to take his life. And uh, he, uh, he um, started looking and reading the book. And then he noticed in the very back of the book, there was a listing of temples. And so he found the nearest temple. And then he went and he actually, actually became a devotee. So um, this is one of many amazing stories on how these books have transformed and saved people's lives, what to speak about, the benefits that one gets by uh, understanding this philosophy. So we cannot, you know, fully, emphasize the importance of Srila Prabhupada's books. Um, and so make them a regular, uh, you know, 
association, associate with the book as much as possible. Uh, you can start discussing amongst the devotees with various kinds of programs, such as reading sanghas and just discussion groups, the Vriksha programs, hearings. Books. So please, uh, I'm encouraging and actually uh, uh, petitioning the devotees to please uh, read these books more and more and also find ways to give books to others. Giving books as a present during birthdays, during weddings, for wedding gifts, on holidays. These are ways to distribute books like that. So we have many, many uh, avenues by which we can uh, find ways to distribute Shilpa's books. Okay, so we'll uh, see if there's anyone, any devotees would like to. Um, I might ask the devotees, uh, how many of you out there actually joined the Hare Krishna movement because of receiving a book? So, yeah. If you do, just uh, in some way indicate by opening your microphone up and saying Hari Bo. <laughs> Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, I did so. <laughs> Hari Bo Maharaj. Thank you. Yes, Maharaj, um, when we moved into our new house here, uh, where uh, we've been very fortunate to receive you once as well, Maharaj, uh, many years back, um, I had a desire that I should have one Bhagavad Gita in my new house. And in the same week, I had a couple of brahmacharis. Can you repeat that? Can you repeat that? Yes, Maharaj. So um, in 2004, when we moved into uh, my house here, where Maharaj, uh, we've been very privileged to receive you as well, once, a few years, a couple of years back. In the same house, when we moved in 2004, Maharaj, I had a desire um, that I should have Bhagavad Gita. So being Hindu, but I didn't have Bhagavad Gita in the house. Um, and in the same weekend, I had uh, two brahmacharis from Bhaktivedanta Manor knocking on my door, handing me a Bhagavad Gita. So that was sort of like first first point where my faith built, um, that my desire came true. And I felt like Krishna's listening to my prayers. So, Yeah, that's, uh, you see, when you have a sincere desire for spiritual connection then immediately Krishna arranges something. Yes Maharaj and, um, and also I would like to share that um, at Badra um, 2020 just this this last month when we were distributing Srimad Bhagavatam sets um, with your blessings and Krishna's mercy I managed to distribute three sets Maharaj and one of the sets I have um, Krishna's planned me to place it into the Indian Association in our local area so where we have elderly um, people gather a couple of times in a week. And um, I managed to seek a permis permission from the uh, management that I could go and spend an hour starting to read Srimad Bhagavatam with the elderly people there. Oh, nice. When did, when did that start? Mm -hmm. So that's starting from the coming week, Maharaj. So I seek your blessings for that, that may I continue that service when, for long, long. When did that begin? Mm -hmm. um, so this um, Bhadra 2020 was last month um, when I 
from on behalf of my parents i wanted to place one shrimad bhagavatam into a uh, care homes and i couldn't find the name of the care homes so i walked into the local um, indian association is called brant indian association um and i went in there and i spoke yeah, to them yeah somehow we're we're losing your oh my internet is not very good sorry maharaj is you coming in and out so oh, i'm sorry am i any better now maharaj maybe it's maybe it's from my side i don't know i i never have trouble like this but today it's more unstable than ever i don't know i'm sorry about it maharaj yes we've been having trouble as well when um you were giving class and listening to you even on audio mode so it probably is from your side maharaj Okay, so yeah, for whatever reason, can you hear me? Yes, sir. We can hear you now, Maharaj. Okay. Any anybody else would like to uh, speak something related to Prabhupada's books, <laughs> or ask a question? Hari Krishna, Maharaj. We have to pay humble obeisances. All glory, Shri Prabhupada. All glories to you, Maharaj. I just wanted to say that uh, last week only, uh, Pragosh Prabhu, the UK GBC, um, has approved uh, to distribute the books now and uh, set up a table. And uh, this was announced last week in our temple as well that we can distribute the tables, uh, dist distribute the books, and set up the table. And uh, it's really nice. I was really nervous to do this. I started because it's been now a long time, about almost about six months. And it felt like this class was specifically for me to give me encouragement to <laughs> go back and start <laughs> again. So thank you so much. It was really nice lecture and I really encouraged um, and to hopefully we will start in South London now distributing books. So please uh, give us your blessings, Maharaj, that hope everything goes yeah. well and... Uh, you have, through this service, you automatically have Prabhupada's full blessings. <laughs> it's by only your mercy, Maharaj. It Thank comes you so automatically much. with the service. Hare Krishna devotees, it seems like Maharaj, how oh, we got him back. Can you hear me? I'm here. Yes, Maharaj, we can hear you, but now and then your audio also goes, Maharaj, so it seems like your internet um, bandwidth is really not performing to, um, to the standard today. That's strange. It's never, never cuts out. Okay. Well, what can you do? This is the material world. So, like to. Okay, so read the books and uh, whenever you get a chance, uh, inspire others to read the books. <laughs> Okay, well, so we'll end here. Okay, thank you very much. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Jai. Jai, Jai. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you.